Some years ago, I had the opportunity to do a fairly intensive tour of the main Mayan sites in, in Central America. And I was always, of course, fascinated by this, uh, this, this preoccupation with the year 2012, uh, which our society seems to have been taken hold of, almost like a, an Asian flu pandemic. Uh, and I said at one stage, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm far from uh, a person who doesn't think we're facing very tough times ahead, where, which we are. But I said to myself, what is it about this 2012? Um, and where, where can we get down to the bottom of this whole situation? Now, of course, the uh, research into the Mayan culture was given a great help by the Spanish missionaries who, who came there four or five centuries ago because they burned most of the very extensive the Mayan libraries and only a few things have survived like inscriptions obviously on the various stele and books like the Popol Vuh which, which to give uh, him credit was saved by a Spanish priest but for the most part the records were destroyed so we have very little evidence to go on and that's why so much of the information is tentative and hypothetical rather than hard and fast. But given what evidence we do have, what are we going to say about this uh, situation here? 2012, I suppose it used to all send shivers up our spines. The end of the Mayan calendar. The end of the world. Now, when I set out to try and track this thing down, the first trace I can find of any suggestion that the first, that the 21st of December or the 23rd of December, as you know, there are two dates, depending on which method of calculation you use. The first uh, suggestion that 21st of December 2012 could have any sort of apocalyptic implications for us or for the planet was in a book by Michael Coe, The Mayan, which is a very, very well known book. It's published, obviously. 33 years ago, which is an apocalyptic sounding period of time in itself. Okay. However, I just put the quotation there. There is a suggestion that Armageddon would overtake. You notice I underlined here, this is my underlining, not his. Because this is all he says about it, and this is all he says about it in those terms. There is a suggestion that Armageddon would overtake to the generative peoples of the world and all creation on the final day of the 13th Bok Tomb. This, thus our present universe, would be annihilated on the 23rd of December 2012, when the great cycle of the long count reaches completion. Now, that's the first time it's appeared, ever. And, uh, of course, as you know, <clears throat> there, the long count, uh, the Mesoamerican long count calendar is so called because they had two other calendar, calendars as well used for measuring short, short periods. So the long count is simply one that extends over hundreds and thousands of years rather than uh, spheres of time more appropriate to the human lifespan. So the long count obviously means simply that it's meant to register long distances of time. Not to bore you with this, but it's useful to have some little uh, moment of familiarity with the Mayan calendar because it's so alien from to ours. It worked in units of 20. We work in units of 10. We have a decimal system. America was one of the first countries to adopt the decimal system in its coinage. It's one of the last countries to adopt the decimal system in any other area of its life. However, in Ireland where I come from, I've been a member of the European community for nearly 40 years, but we always, of course, use miles measurement on the roads. So there was a grant to the European Union way back in the mid-70s to change all the road signs from miles into kilometers. And of course nobody in those days used kilometers. So when, when you saw a sign up doubling, you know, X kilometers, people became very uh, proficient at mentally dividing by 0.6 in their heads to find out how far they were, were from anywhere. So I guess that experience awaits the United States. Are we in trouble? Yes, oh in dear. Well, turn it off then. Let's adopt a radical solution. Right there. Now, we, we, in the decimal system, work in units of 10. They worked a system based on the unit of 20. 
And 20 days made up one UIMAL. Sometimes it's spelled WIMAL, but that's more or less the Mayan month, the 20 day month. And 18 of these Wimals made a TUM, T U N, or 360 days, which was the Mayan year. Now, obviously, before you attribute any magical properties to the Mayan calendar, you realize straight away it's going to be way out and very imperfect. The problem with doing any calendar is that the rotation of the Earth on its axis, which gives us a day, does not divide evenly into the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. So consequently, you can't get any neat solution. All you can get is as close to the right figure as you can, which is roughly 365 and a quarter days with additions every four years, and further additions every 400 years. But anyway, the Mayans are really out on the length of the year. So 20 days, one Wynal, 18 Wynals made a tune, and 20 tunes made one Catune, which would be roughly 19 years. And 20 Catunes equaled one back tune, or 144,000 days, which is 395 years. And after each back tune, the numbers are reset. So the back tune is the one we're really interested in today, because we're about to reach the end of the 13th back tune in two years and a half from now. And that's when all hell is supposed to break loose, at least according to Michael Cole. Now today, I decided yesterday, it would be nice to put this down. In the Mayan calendar, this is to console you if you're ever tired of writing dates on checks and things. Think of how bad it would be if you were using the Mayan calendar, because today's date in the Mayan calendar would be written 12 back tunes, 19 catunes, 16 tunes, 8 winos, and 15 days since the creation of the world. So at least our system is more succinct and, and compact than that. So that's today's day in the Mayan calendar. And the day 13 down here in the bottom is either the 21st of December or the 23rd of December in the year 2012. Now what's special about that date? I'll make two points briefly. The 21st or the 23rd of December 2012 is the time when the date's going to be reset to 13. It's like the you know, uh, odometer, speedometer, or the clock on your car. You know, when you pass 100,000 miles, everything resets back to zero. You start all over. That's all it is. It's just the time when the calendar is going to reset to zeros. It's going to reset to zero and uh, 13 and four zeros. 